The world is already struggling to deal with global warming. But a new report has surfaced, which suggests that methane emissions in the United Kingdom could be cut by more than 40% by the year 2030. The report published by an environmental think tank, named Green Alliance says, with the help of a raft of inexpensive policies, the country can manage to reduce its methane emissions. Methane is a greenhouse gas that has more than 80 times the global heating power of carbon dioxide. Although the government had earlier pledged to cut emissions of methane by at least 30% by 2030. The move was trumpeted by former UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, after the UK joined more than 100 other countries to make the pledge at COP26 in Glasgow. But unfortunately as of now no specific proposals have been put forward by the government for how to make these cuts. So how exactly is the UK government going to manage to achieve this feat? In the report published by the think tank it lists a series of low-cost measures, which it says could reduce these emissions from their 2020 levels by 43%. The key to the reduction in methane levels is by bringing changes to the waste industry. By bringing forward the UK's ban on landfilling biodegradable waste to 2025, and mandating landfill operators to increase biogas capture, the country can reduce methane emissions by 19 by 2030 and a further 9% of methane savings could come from regulating the gas industry to end methane leaks, that has been time and again urged by the International Energy Agency. Moreover the report also urged the government to adopt measures to cut methane in the agriculture and land use sector. These sectors make up more than half of the total methane produced in the UK. The report states that by feeding dairy cows, the methane-reducing supplement improving management of slurry and encouraging the consumption of alternative protein. The UK could save a further 15% of its methane emissions, and as a COP27 is over the horizon. Where the UK will hand over the Corp residency to Egypt, before the climate summit starts on Sunday. The environmental think tank says that, the lack of action towards the climate crisis by ministers risks countries losing its reputation as a global leader in methane reductions.